All right, welcome back. Parliament is currently unable to check the financials of the Road Accident Fund, the RAF. It's due to a dispute between that organization and the Auditor General. Takani Maloleke went ahead and tabled the 2021 annual report earlier this year after the RAF failed to block her from doing so. Here is the kind of money we're talking about. The fund's deficit is now at 13.5 billion rand and is still the subject of dispute in court. It now, of course, leaves Parliament in a very tight spot over how they're going to carry out their oversight responsibilities. So how are they going to do this and how angry are they? Standing Committee on Public Accounts Chair. There it is, Mkhleko Klengwa joining us, always taking time to speak to us. Uh, Mr. Klengwa, good morning to you. And I mean, this is astonishing when we look at the amount of money in question, the number of people who rely on this, and now you simply can't do your job as a committee. Thank you very much, Mr. Edwards. Good morning to you and the viewers. Well, obviously, we're concerned about this, but it is not something uh, we had not expected because there is a dispute that has been lodged by the Road Accident Fund against the AG's finding of a disclaimed audit opinion, meaning that the AG is not in a position to pronounce um, on the affairs and financial health um, of the Road Accident Fund. Fund. This has been a long time coming. Mm. The dispute is currently in court as things stand now. Um, and whilst the sub judicial rule does not apply to the oversight work we are doing in terms of our own legal consultations ahead of this matter, and therefore the audit report that the AG has tabled to Parliament, in our view, still stands, we deemed it important to um, allow the court process uh, to run its course simply because it is going to enable us to determine how audit outcome management is done uh, because there is a tendency which we are trying to avoid which is the audit opinions actually being negotiated as opposed to being an outcome of an audit mm. and by negotiating mm. in um, court process. So that's the first phase. Secondly, we have decided to reconvene the meeting on the 20th of September, uh, wherein we're going to have the Road Accident Fund on matters which are not in dispute. So those, those issues which are not before court will receive the attention of Parliament on the 20th of September. And thirdly, we are considering our options of whether to approach the court on an amicus curiae basis because we've got a vested interest in terms of how government departments and entities are actually <clears throat> handling audit outcomes. What we don't want is a precedent where if you don't like an audit outcome, you run to court because if your financial health um, or your financial management system is not consistent with the law and is not consistent with audit practices, the AG must make a determination and pronounce an opinion on it on the basis of, um, you know, what auditing practices are. The issue really here is about grab uh, issues. It's about the um, Insurance Act and the Auditor General has already filed uh, responding papers to the road accident fund and so we're expecting that the matter will, should um, gain traction in court. We will be studying those court papers um, as I'm saying because we are considering very strongly at this point in time um, uh, approaching the court on the basis of being friends of the court. So it's a, it's a situation which is very tricky and complex in that it's it's a new reality. It's never happened. And so yeah, yeah. Um, it is a learning experience. But so all that said and done, the state of health of the Road Accident Fund, there's very little to be desired. And so they need to appreciate that um, the South African public um, and the parliament specifically are, are not wholly impressed about how things are going at this point in time because even if you put aside the matters in dispute there are issues around irregular expenditure for example which are of concern there's and in fact mr edwards the the, the major dilemma is um because the 2021 audit report is now a matter of court um it is having a ripple effect on the audits for 2022 um, and the AG has indicated to me in correspondence that they will be proceeding with the audit 
um, and they will table once they are done. And so they, it, it complicates the matter, but we are really hoping that um, the courts will move with the necessary speed on this matter. Yeah, it certainly is complicating what's already a very complicated matter as well. Uh, very little to desire is one way of describing a 13.5 billion rand deficit. It's the most diplomatic way of describing it I think I've ever heard. Uh, Mr. Hlengwa, thank you very much indeed uh, for your time. Uh, I think you've explained very nicely what the position of the Standing Committee on Public Accounts, SCOPA, uh, their chair, explaining to us what is happening with the road accident fund. So 